Hello, I am Ez. We are at Oxyliner headquarters in Cape Town, South Africa. We are going to be doing some training on the relining of potable water supply parts. Absolute has arrived. <laughs> this is Ryan from Plumback Projects and Services. Marcel from Waterworks. This is Desmond and Tian from Haro Water Technologies. I'm going to show you guys from start to finish. Gravity plays a big role in the lining process. When you've got a small bathroom, sometimes the roof spaces are too small to work in. You guys can purchase the smaller tube just for water. So you can actually line from the roof down. The tube has to go either 45 degree or it needs to be straight up. This one's for those smaller spaces or you might have a wall plate in a wall and it's going straight up. You just want to line from the wall plate up. You can, but I want you to be stingy with epoxy. You rather fold the pipe up and you make sure it's coated properly. When you blow it through, you're literally going to fold this line and all the access is going to come out then you know it's coated properly. Once it's lined, you'll connect the hot box and you're going to run hot air. The system has been designed for copper. We've lined Mepla before, but I wouldn't recommend it. You're going to connect your hose to your copper line. Before you sandblast, you have to make sure the pipe is dry. Take the hot box. Connect to your pipe with a 20 more hose. Put it on. This box a demo model. The one that we're making now is smaller and lighter. Let that run for let's say about half an hour. Before you put your air on, you have to make sure your valve is closed. Pull your pressure. Slowly. Open this valve. If you're not sure it's clean, you can repeat the same process two or three times just to make sure it's clean. When you're done blowing hot air through and the pipe's dry inside and it's been sandblasted, you can repeat this process a few times if you need to just to be sure. Blow heat, sandblast, sandblast, blow heat. When you're done blowing heat through, connect your 20 more hose onto your connector that's connected to the pipe. Always keep this one closed. You've got a 500 mm kit which should be enough to line this over here. Okay, this is the kit. It's quite thick. On a cold day, you're going to have to just heat it up slightly. To make sure it's mixed well. Normally, you use a drill. And get it in the center. Open up your air slowly. I'm gonna put the hot air on. Wow, look at that. After 35 minutes. You can line a bathroom in a day.